Okay. Welcome to the Fe February 14th uh, zoning board hearing. Um, we have uh, actually only two items. Actually, we come down to one item. Um, the attorney is here representing the first applicant, and I got a letter uh, in the file here. Uh, chairman and members of the zoning board, as you know, the firm represents applicant Cortland Street uh, Inc. LLC regarding its application for an earth removal special permit on the applicant's land abutting Cortland Street. On behalf of my client, I'm ready to withdraw <coughs> the present application without prejudice. Should the zoning board have any questions or concerns regarding the proposal, uh, the withdrawal, please do not hesitate to call. So this is the official notification you're withdrawing based on the current application, which was a uh, earth removal permit. So you must be reworking things. Okay. All right, with, with, for the benefit of the neighbors, this whole application has been totally withdrawn um, without prejudice, so this could very well come back as a brand new applicant with a new strategy. So I just want to let you know that that's what this letter came in today. From. So well, they've totally today. withdrawn the application, no, so there is Monday. no hearing. Dated today? Monday. Dated it came Monday. in on Monday. What's the attorney's name on that? This is attorney Joseph Antonellis. Mm -hmm. Okay. You feel so, free to, if you need a copy, you can grab it up. I would at the, like a copy. We've co actually well, you, you can copy. swing up to. Uh, and we would all like to know why we didn't receive notice of tonight's meeting. Uh, again, I'm not, that's not my, I don't do that. <laughs> Who does that for you? It's it's certainly not me. It's on the applicant's behalf, not on my behalf. It's only notified board. the abutters? Yeah, the, the abutters get notified the first time, then it's up to council when their clients after that. I mean, you don't have to legally formalize after the first advertisement even though it's but been he has been trying to keep times. everybody up to date he has not well again <laughs> i can only do so much based on what i have and, and more so than likely is... they'll probably rework something so that you'll be certainly it'll be all certified notice and writing again from the town <laughs> we were told that we would be notified about this meeting and we weren't. Oh, we all again, left I'm not represent. I, I have no. So the zoning board. I have board to take that know. back to his council. So this is the new council. No, this is one of the, part of the law firm. Oh, of the same law firm. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Now until until then, I've already contacted the town engineer. Yeah. He was out in my property. Yeah. I'm getting flooded. Constantly getting flooded. Now I'm getting water in my basement. I, had a, I got it all, everything on, on video. I've already contacted the, talk, contacted the EPA, and I got an attorney involved. Okay. They have to do something about the water. I called attorney Antonellis last week, or two weeks ago, when we had that huge rainstorm. He said he was going to take care of it, never seen anybody. So nobody's told, called town engineer, Mike Dean, never calls me back. So they have to do I, I would think I would get if, if you're getting into that type of roadblock start with town council see if you can feather it through that way we're talking but, to but everybody I, we nobody. don't have the purview to even make any decisions on this because there is there's we're no talking hearing. to everybody and nobody has any answers nobody gets back to us on anything because it seems like whoever owns the land is part of part of a town employee or works for the town or part of the zoning board so they have to do something about the water I have an attorney involved and it's calls to the EPA. I, I, then I, if you if you have an attorney involved, I would definitely go with that route. That's actually going to. It's not just one house. It's, it's all everybody. the abutting neighbors that are having yeah. water damage. Everybody. Okay. I've got water coming in my basement. I mean, the we whole backyard a, is completely flooded. I got videos of it all. Okay. And I called Mike Dean, and I got no answers. To get out of my driveway <laughs> every morning. Every the other, morning, it's just ice. The other, There's people that have fallen. Okay. The other day yeah, I, I came down. Nothing is being done. I have to call every morning for them to go and see. Well, again, it. we can't hear the hearing. We understand your frustration. Yeah. Um, I, I think at like that point you need to. There's a lot more than just cutting down a couple of trees. To me, that yeah. seems like land clearing, which wouldn't you, we would have to be yeah, notified. Well, they, they, they didn't have the permit. They didn't get the notice. They haven't gotten it yet. That's the whole uh, Again, yeah. I, it, I have no, no, on the development side of that stuff, as far as, as far as this board's concerned, so if you guys don't approve them, whoever them is cutting down all the trees and land. Well, they, there was never, a, there, there's never, a, there was never a plant. So grubbing there was it. nothing they done. They ripped everything. You can up. cut trees in your own yard. Well, so seven acres. No, I did not. They weren't, not they weren't cut. Seven acres. They, before we get well, again, I, I'm not here to get into a major discussion because we really aren't part of the hearing process here tonight for this particular application. 
Okay. We're in for uh, Mr. Garrett's vault to oil application. There's a second application. They have withdrawn. I would take your concerns to their attorney and, and, go, through, and go through that. The guy who won't then call do, us. Then he, you've got an attorney, he said, so okay. I, I would utilize that. That mechanism, if you have to. The selectmen meeting. The next okay. Time. Okay. We all will Thank you. This up. Okay. So, and let's bring it up to the selectmen meeting. Yeah. The next yeah. time. Okay. Uh, that being 710, we need to jump right on to the next hearing. This is on the application okay. of vote to oil. Um, Oil Company 1, Roberts Road, Plymouth, Mass, for a special permit pursuant to Sections 2.3 at the zoning relation to a parcel of land located at 111 Cedar Street in Milford, consisting of uh, approximately 2.8 2 acres, more or less, which parcel is owned by Cedar Enter Enterprises on Lovell Street in Menden. The relief is sought in order to permit the construction of a self-service gasoline station uh, with an attendant and service pump island. Uh, with that and the application, Mr. Chairman, we you have a make motion. a motion to dispense with the reading. I have a motion from John to dispense with the reading as long as what we're discussing is exactly as written in the application. That is. With that, I have a motion to dispense with the reading. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Yeah. Opposed? That's unanimous. With that, uh, sir, please go ahead and give us an idea what you're going to do. I see we have the uh, site plan. Thank you for bringing in the large copies. You're welcome, Mr. Chairman. Uh, for the record, I'm Eli Leno from Mayor Antonellis, Jackowitz, and Hieronis, representing Volta Oil. And I'm uh, joined tonight by its president, Peter Garrett, who will also be able to answer some of the technical questions that I might not be able to about gas stations. Um, this is a matter of first impression for this board. We are um, the group that got the zoning bylaw changed at town meeting, and now this is the first application for this type of self-service facility in Milford. Um, one of the things that's been brought to my attention is that there's some questions about the terminology used at various gas stations. Uh, you all have the plan in front of you that shows there are five pumps on this bank and then two over here servicing diesel and what I was told by Mr. Garrett and I've now learned is that each one of these it's one pump and it services an island on each side so at each of those there's two islands in a in gasoline station parlance so that was something that um, as the bylaw says uh, footnote 32 self-service gasoline stations shall maintain at least one active attendant service pump island at all times and there was some question about whether or not having this island here was sufficient to meet that bylaw, and um, we are of the impression that it does. But again, this being a matter of first impression, we certainly open to talk about this with the board and also think that there's some possibility that there's more uh, desire for uh, full service and that's something that we could also reinvestigate down the road depending on how many people want to use that full service aspect and I have uh, one other update about the fire suppression systems which as we've discussed through town meeting and at the different hearings about this uh, is significantly more robust for self-service based on not having um, as much personnel necessarily involved the fire suppression plan has been approved by um, its lieutenant uh, Denman here in town and now is on its way to the state fire marshal for review by that board. So progress is being made and uh, once we have the state fire marshal's approval, we'll be able to put in the, the full fire suppression so system. So Eli, just to clarify that, it's already been approved by the state. Oh, okay. So the state fire marshal has signed off on it. So. Basically, the process when you, in the state of Massachusetts, when you have a self-service gasoline station, um, you apply to the local fire department, the local fire department signs off, it goes to the state, the state does their review, they sign off. So we have a sign plan back that's been approved by all fire prevention. Both state that, and that was going to be my next question. This is a progress print plan, Peter? Is there an as-built plan or a different plan? Uh, this is showing pro progress print plan, print plan. Is that what that is? Oh, this says, I was mistaken earlier, Chairman. It is stamped, and okay. this is the full. And All right. I'm 
Mr. Garrett was able to let me know that there is a two-sided fuel pump at each of these. Um, the chairman and I were discussing whether... Well, that was whether... my next question. Is there two pumps under each canopy? Two? No, just one. There's one. So what, what, when you say two pumps under each canopy, so there's one large... I don't know if you've been by it, but yes, there's I one have. large it's canopy nice, across, yeah. across the entire pump, all the pump islands, yeah. and basically a there's five pumps of which each one is two-sided. So if every single pump was taken, there would be 10 cars under the island okay. fueling up at one time. And then this is another separate canopy. Easel, yeah. And the way that that works is that actually has two um, islands. Um, there are actually two pumps, but these larger trucks, what they have, some of the larger trucks actually have uh, oh, tanks on both sides. They oh, call it saddle tanks. Mm -hmm. So this is what they call a, a master in satellite. So even though it's two pumps that f and with two hoses that um, fuel both sides, it can only fuel one truck at the same time. So two so pumps can went to one both. Yeah. yeah. So each side, each side yeah, fills up the same. Pulling thing. a hose all the way over those. So that diesel things. island can only fuel two. It only Say has again? two. That diesel island only has two hoses. Period. It, uh, it actually has three. So. What happens is there can be a truck that comes in uh, that fuels there, and there can be a truck that comes in and fuels there. This truck that is on the outside, the closest to the tanks, that one doesn't have the capability to have a satellite fill on, his, on, satellite. on the uh, passenger side of the vehicle, only one hose. So you've got a hose here, a hose here, all tied into one meter for one truck and then you have another meter over here so if we did have overflow we could fuel two trucks at the same time you have nine self-serve and we have nine self-serve and one right. full so there's only one hose that's full there's one hose that's full yes yeah, so you could fill one car at a time under the under the bylaw it's requiring one pump island has to be full serve correct that's Correct. what it, that's one what pump island is two hoses, isn't it? Right. Right. You and can't this is, have this is showing one. Based on based on the the bylaw and based on my discussions, there needs to be one self uh, one attendant that's uh, that's a that, that is that's servicing that full service pump island, not pump, but pump island, the whole island. That whole unit. So, so if you've got you can't do full service on one side and self service on the other. That island pump has got to be both full service. I think that is my understanding based on the bylaw and my understanding based on the town planner. If you're thinking differently, we need to know that, but that's what my understanding is. So uh, we have no disagreement on the words obviously written in uh, footnote 32 here. But I think there's an ambiguity about what constitutes an island versus what constitutes a pump. And it doesn't say that we have to have one pump that's full service, but one island. And in trade usage, that pump means... Pump island, it says. I, I understand that. But what we, pump island. Which would be one of these. An aisle is an island, so each of these pumps services two you're islands. Cutting, you're cutting ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, here... They're indicating to us. I'm just going to... You know, throw this out to the board, and, and we can definitely work with this. I mean, it's if you if you know the board is like, well, you know what, you got to have both sides of that uh, pump available, then you know we can work with it. I I would throw this out there for future applications, and that's you know, pro I well, think there's definitely some thoughts. It's going to be a busy place. We know that, and there's going to yeah. be people, the elderly especially, are handicapped. You're going to be able to load one car in a whack. You know, yeah, I, full service one car in a whack. Yeah. That's not full service. If you only have, if you can only service, you can only pump one car. Yeah. So, so Snow here's what I'm. Snow so there's no, the there's no requirement that we keep everything self-service or but one island. There's only a requirement that we have some sort of full service. Now the question here, right, is whether or not you have two two sides of a pump or you have one side of the pump. Right. So let's call My, the only thing that I'm going to throw out there is that as a, uh, another, if another gas station comes in and they happen to be one island, that's it. And they have really no capability to be self-serve whatsoever. 
That's correct. And there's several of those in town. Yes. So I, my only concern would be if the interpretation is that you need to have an island, then there's going to be folks that I would imagine are going to have a have they're not going to be able to achieve it without substantial renovation of their station. In in some cases, the the size of the the station or the property would prohibit them from doing that. It's, it's interesting, and in, in, in by experience, I actually was, was at the station about two or three weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and by the way, you did a beautiful job. Thank you. It came Thank out you. great. And I, I actually went to that last island, and I, I, I asked for super unleaded. And the super unleaded was only filling up on slow motion. Uh oh. There was three cars in back of me, and there were, all the lanes were full. And there was three cars in back of me trying to get in back of me at that time. So I was there so long they brought food out because there was a hiccup in the, in the calculation, apparently, of the, yeah. of the, of the super unleaded. And it, it t I was there for 15 minutes trying to gas up super unleaded, and it was one pump. So what happens when... He comes, he, he's on a walker and, and, and someone else disabled comes up, they got to sit there and wait for one pump, for one full service pump. So, so I'd I, rather have both sides full service. Yeah, I, if you got one attendant doing one car and he's hanging out there in the cold, he could be filling up someone else's car that may say may be disabled next to him or in back of them instead of someone sitting in line. So I, that's just yeah. what I observed and what I saw and what I experienced a couple, three weeks ago, and, and I'm sure it's, it's fixed now, but I, I'm totally impressed with, with the operation, the store. It, it, it's a great look. Um, it, it's pretty cool, pretty retro. Uh, I, I'm a little bit concerned about only having one pump for full service. You know, if this was a double pump under that island, I'd feel much better. I see what you're saying. Yeah. If it was two pumps and you wanted to use just one side full service, I'd I'd feel better, but you only have one. If you had two, then I can I would agree with you that one side full service would be okay, but only being able to service one car is <coughs> full service at a time. It's not the setup rather than the vertical. Right. So yeah, there are some locations that you're right, that they're parallel like to the road, two, not right, uh, right. perpendicular to the road, or they're right. Yeah. yeah. I, it just, you know, and, you know I, again, maybe, and maybe it's something that you know we, we go out and we do the whole we do that whole island that whole pump first, and then if you feel that there's a need that it's not it's not the full service on that side is not needed anymore, sure. you can come back. Sure. I mean that's my that's fair. That's what I I think is fair. But okay. Yeah, just as long as we have that understanding that you know we could come back at a later date, and if we're like you know hey listen. What we're finding already <laughs> is that people want to get out and pump their own gas, and they, there's an overwhelming out. demand for it. I mean, we're out there, and folks are like, "No, no, no!" I'll, and we're Weather's like, "No, no, no, no!" It's full serve. <laughs> Weather's going to dictate. Someone well, who's going to drive true. through, get, grab a coffee, absolutely, grab some gas, but want to get out and yeah. take off. Yeah. Um, so we we don't have a problem starting off with both sides being full serve. That's not an issue. Um, what we're going to do on the fire, fire suppression, anyways. Is we're going to cover the entire island. We're not going to do the same with the diesel. Say again. You have to do the same with the diesel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So regardless, we'll 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 cover the entire island. So, you know, if at a later date we come back and say, hey, listen, we only need one side, or we want to kind of switch it to a different island, you know, obviously we'd come back here and let you know. But we have the flexibility to do that from a fire suppression um, standpoint. Anything else on the uh, plan? Any questions you have? I mean, the, uh, there's not, you know, unless you want to get into the real technical stuff about fire suppression and whatnot, but obviously the fire department has signed off on that and they're, Chief, they're happy with it. it. Yeah, it, you know, just yeah, comments from the planning I board, which more than I, do. Yeah. I think even comments with the planning board that will be in the decision as well is that the, the service, you know, that full, that, uh, full service, um, Island has to be attended, of course, at all times. Yep. Um, your employees, they, they, were, they were all great when I was there, great personalities. 
I, I, I see the, the drive-through is now operating. How are you find it? You, you feel, I see on the plan, you've got mountable scored concrete on the island between the, the um, diesel island and the, the gas island. And um, it seems like that seems to be working. That flow seems to be working okay. Yeah, I mean, we found that so far that it no seems to, even at peak times, we haven't had issues there. You know, the nice thing about the diesel island is that the trucks are channeled back behind the building and then they, they have a nice flow, so they're not doing any backing. That's when you get concerned is when they have to back and maybe in blind spots, but they have a nice turn to be able to make that turn. And what we did to satisfy in the, in the planning of this site, and I know Larry Duncan was very instrumental in a lot of that scored concrete is we talked to him about turning radiuses but he also wanted to make sure that there was some separation between that truck traffic and then also the main island so as you probably have know it's a big site so yeah. there's plenty of Presently. room for maneuverability yeah. and it can handle peak times so yeah, it came out great really good yeah. it was a lot of work <laughs> it took Very a while well. especially there <laughs> yeah yeah, and I think actually the other thing that the town was obviously um, real involved with and worried about was the was the wall in the back, and I think that came out that came out great too, um, from an aesthetic standpoint. Yeah, it's kind of like the wall of China at Lowe's. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's big. It, yeah. That's number four in there, there by. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that took a lot of work. Any other questions or comments? What's the, um, for the full serve, what's to stop someone going over there and pumping their own gas? So uh, this is what we're doing now. Um, so we had a little issue uh, where uh, folks were very aggressive about wanting to pump their own gas. Um, so what we've done is we changed uh, the operation to um, we actually, believe it or not, put it in self-serve mode, and you'll say, whoa, wait a minute, no you don't. Well, what self-serve mode does <coughs> is you could walk in there, you could grab the pump, and even if you put a credit card in, it will not dispense fuel until the person inside allows that to dispense fuel. Um, and that's a, by, that's, a, that's a regulation in the state of Massachusetts. Right. Um, you can't have it on what they call standalone. Standalone allows you to go in there and, and um, put the pump. So most of the full serve stations in Milford, my guess, is they're on standalone. So if you actually went into one of the other locations and the attendant didn't come out, you grab the pump, yeah. you put your credit card in, you probably could pump it yourself and it would go automatically. With ours, what we'll do is we'll have it all on self-serve. And by doing that, they're not allowed to pump until we allow it. And obviously, if they're going to that island, they won't, we will never authorize it until the attendant is out there. Is there a microphone set up where you can let them know there that is. that's a full serve only? Yeah, and, we, and we'll have signs there. I was going to say Right signs. now, um, there are signs that say everything is full serve, but there'll be an island uh, sign that says this is a full serve island, these are self. Because we'll probably have a little bit of education to do when that happens. Because yeah, yeah. people an, come in and they'll think yeah, everything's self, right? And we'll say, no, no. Well, if they can't yeah. pump it, they'll find out soon enough. Uh, they well, for the sake yeah, of when they sit there for 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the for the sake of, 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 I numbered these one from left to right, one through five. So, from the sake of the decision aspect, we, we'll we'll identify. Is that the island that you're looking to do full serve on? So I think, yeah, so what I, I think we have here is we have it labeled full. Right. And the other one's self, and we're just saying that this one here full. would be full. full as well. So I would say that island one, both sides of, of island one, both pumps will be full serve. Right. And one is going to be, as you're facing the store, the right. ones to the far left, right. not including the diesel island. So I think that's the northernmost, huh? the northernmost pump, right? That's on the Hopkinton side. That is the northernmost pump. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to identify it on this plan, and I'll sign this plan as as pump island number one. Um, yeah, I'll do pump. I'll do pump one. 
both sides of pump one. Does that work? And then I'll, we'll put in the appropriate, appropriate language for full service only. Is there, a, is there any technology out there where you can, you can have a light there if someone can't get out of a car? I mean, you've got full service, but how do you know? I mean, someone should be out there. If for some reason someone's at lunch, who's next? In, who's going to know when to service this if a car pulls up? Well, because we'll know that that's a full serve island. I mean, okay. that's how we've done it in the past in other municipalities. Right, but you're now adjusting from going full serve yeah. all the way down to having one person responsible for that, for that servicing that particular island. So I'm not quite understanding well, what you're, you're in. The, with, how many employees do you have in the store? Two. We'll yeah, have two, two at all times. So what are you going to do? So one of those two it has to come out full service. That's right. Yeah. How many square feet is the store? 5,000. How many square feet is Duncan on this? Oh, don't hold me to the exact number, but I would say lease, it's right? pro <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably somewhere around. I'd say they're probably the around seventeen hundred, maybe seventeen hundred square feet, something like that. Okay. Yeah, I we're not anticipating. I mean, obviously, if if uh, it's different than most areas, and there's a huge demand for full serve. And I, I think the way the bylaw is written, we don't really even need to come back in here if we want to make another island full surf. Right. So if we want to go ahead and make two of the islands, you know, call it pump one and two, all full surf, no problem with that, right? It's just what we're, you know, with, with the way the bylaw is written, we need to have that one pump. But if you've got eight people in the store and you, and you have yep. one person out here, this person knows he's going to stay with the gas? That's he's got to respond to that. He's got to respond to that, and he's got to provide full service. That's What's the correct. mechanism if that if, the, if we're getting if we're having problems? Basically. So typically, what it's what we have is if we don't visually see it, and we have visual, you know, contact, and we have not only that, but we have pump cameras on every single pump as well. And there's a monitor. If you walk into that store right at the checkout counter, you'll see a big monitor uh, that overhangs the checkout counter. Those are all the pumps, and we can see every single one of them. So let's say we just don't see it, which I find hard to believe, but let's say we don't. There's a call button on that dispenser. So that's the next thing. And then typically what we have is, and we can do this at this site too, is we have a, we have a sticker that we can make that actually has the telephone number. And we talked about this in the whole um, yeah, the whole process side. right and when we were talking about everything going self-serve and then when we went back to one island you know so we can do those same things um, might the full surf person have to wait for an individual to come out of the store to fill yeah but that's not any different than every other gas station here you know um, well if you take too long they'll go to the mobile station that's what they'll do <laughs> and we don't want to lose customers so yeah. Right, right. It's just that the, the cognizant aspect of if the store is busy and you're not... They'll ignore that. That was what you're saying. Yeah. 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 And then no. it may trigger peak times to bring someone in to pump gas for that full island. Oh, yeah. So, I'm sorry. Don't don't get me wrong. If, 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 the, if the demand is there, we will staff more than two people. I mean, right now, we have some times during the day based on food preparation, based on the fact, I mean, right now we have two dedicated attendants and that's all they do. They don't do anything else pump other gas. than pump gas right now. Um, we don't think that we'll need two dedicated attendants to pump gas because there just isn't enough. We don't think there will be that much demand, right. but we're gonna adjust based yeah, on the demand. Based on our demand goes. Because the point is dead on. If we don't, then they're not gonna come back. Any other comments or questions? Okay. If not, last word before we uh, get ready to rock and roll. We appreciate the board's time on this, and uh, I think this discussion was productive, and hopefully we are continuing to be the vanguard for gas stations here in Milford. No, I, I, I think it's a great time. I think the time is it's, it's long, long overdue, and 
you, you, you did a great job with the site. I know it was a lot of challenging work to do, but it, it did. It came out great. It really did. Good. We're, we're happy with it as well. With that, do I have a motion? I'll make we have a, we have a motion. Well, I'm looking for a motion to designate Pump One on the northern side. Um, <clears throat> Pump uh, One, Island One, Pump One and Two. Pump. Yeah, it'll be Pump Nothing One and Two. Side. Full service. Um, I have a motion by uh, from Mark. I have a second. I'll second. Second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's unanimous. I don't think we need any other motion, with the exception that the the full service island will be um, will be manned um, at all times. Um, I have a motion with that, for that too. We have a motion for that. I'll make a motion. Motion by John that the, the pumps one and two full service islands will be uh, will be manned at all times. With that, I'll take a, uh, a second. Second. Second by Bobby. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? That's unanimous. Okay, I believe that's the end of our uh, hearings for this evening. I have a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. I have a second. Second. Seconded by Dave. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you, everyone. Have Thank a great you. evening. Thanks Thank for you coming all. in. Thank just you for very us. much. Happy no.